Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and I have a neat review of the Ishin Mirage E5, E500, E5, wait, hold on, is it E500 or E5000? E500. <laughs> but before we get into that, I have to give my shout out to uh, Notification Squad winner, Alfredo, Alfredo. Congratulations, Alfredo, Alfredo, this is your shout out. Um, only one shout out per Notification Squad winner, and all, for those of you also that want to get a shout out, uh, just be first to say first in one of my videos, and you want a shout out. One shout out per customer, folks. <laughs> so what do we got here? Again, the Ishin Mirage E500. Neat looking quad cup, or neat looking airplane. Uh, but what's special about it is, it's a vertical takeoff airplane. You put it on the ground like so, and take off vertically. It's stabilized. You can fly it supposedly like a quadcopter in its vertical mode. And then once you get to sufficient altitude, and uh, you click the button on your controller and it'll convert to an airplane. Neat, if it actually works as advertised. <laughs> um, we're gonna find out today. Let's all pop it open and see what we got here. We'll go over the features of it. Uh, the motors on this are 1806-2300 kilovolt, or I always say that, 1806-2300 kV motors, kV motors, folks. Comes with a 7.4 volt, uh, 600 milliamp per hour battery. This is its uh, flight control board, its stabilization flight control board uh, right there. And the version I got is uh, a um, uh, FreeSky version. With, there's its FreeSky transmitter that comes in there. It just plugs right in there. Uh, but it also is available in plug and play. And uh, yeah, plug and play, I, I don't know what the other versions were. I'm sorry, I, I didn't write it down today. <laughs> If it's available, FlySky and DS, I'm pretty sure it is available, DSM-2 and FlySky. Uh, but it's also available as a, a kit without any of this, uh, without the motors or, or without the battery and without the receiver. And also as a, an FPV kit. Uh, there's an FPV mod that you put on the front here to fly at FPV if you wish. Now, again, I mentioned that I got the um, FreeSky version. And with a FreeSky version, I hooked it up to my T8SG. I like this T8SG. <laughs> but the way I got it hooked up and the way it's set up is, if on uh, channel 5, if up, upward position on your channel 5 switch is in vertical uh, stabilization mode, so it'll fly like a quadcopter. And then once you get to altitude, you can switch it to center position, which will convert it to horizontal flight, horizontal stabilized mode. And if you're an expert flyer, and I'd only recommend this is if you're an expert flyer because this thing has no dihedral. Uh, actually, I put my this on backwards. This thing has no dihedral, so it's not going to be very stable. You can turn off stabilization entirely, but again, would not recommend that for a uh, beginner or even intermediate pilots with this one here because this one would likely be very kind of hard to fly um, because of its shape. <laughs> so with very no dihedral, there's no... It's not going to stabilize itself. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to be quick on the pitch and roll here with this particular bird if you fly in unstabilized mode. So that's it. Let's go for a flight of this thing, see how it performs. We're going to fire it up, turning on my transmitter. And it should be ready to go there. And then plugging in my battery. Now I want to keep my fingers away from the propellers, because I heard some people say they had issues with the propellers on this thing, but we'll find out. I didn't seem to have any issues, but others have where the propellers would start. And closing up the top and putting it on my landing pad. Now, since this is the first time I've flown this, I don't know how this actually will work. Let me show, demonstrate what I'm talking about, uh, stabilization. See how those move when you give it a little throttle? And if you're center stabilized, this thing's going to try to, see how it's, ailerons here move, move as it moves. It's trying to stabilize itself in a horizontal position. But we're gonna put it back on the pad vertically and go back to vertical stabilization. And I'm gonna move back, folks, and give it some throttle. Make sure I'm recording too. <laughs> That would be bad if I come out here and uh, do a quick check. There we go. Okay, moving back even further and giving some throttle. Let's see how it works. Yeah, just like a quadcopter. 
yeah. Pulling back, trying to bring it toward me. Let's go up higher, higher, and then I'm gonna switch to horizontal mode. And well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it flies kind of odd. Kind of, it flies flat. It flies very flat. <laughs> use the rudder to turn it, folks, because if you use the ailerons, it, it, it slides. It doesn't bank, in other words. This, this airplane does not bank. Odd, odd, odd airplane, especially the way it flies. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm cutting the throttle, trying to bring it down. But I am turning it with rudder, folks. If I turn it with, and the rudder, that seems to work the best. If I turn it with the ailerons, well, either one makes it slide. It slides and turns. But it flies. <laughs> one of the oddest things I've ever seen. Odd airplane, odd, odd, odd airplane. But the stabilization works real well. And like I said, I'm not coming out of it. I'm not coming out of stabilization mode until I'm ready to land it. And when I land it, I'm going to go back to um, vertical. Well, let's let's go up higher and then switch to vertical. See how that works. Ready? Vertical. There. It's back to being a quadcopter again. It flipped over while being a quadcopter up there. I don't know if you saw that. It went upside down there momentarily. Then I switched it back to horizontal mode and then it righted itself. Strange airplane, huh? Trying to get it to go up, give it some upward, set it up again. And from up on high, I'm going to switch back to vertical mode. Vertical mode. Back to horizontal, because it flips upside down up there. <laughs> Maybe it's because we got a wind, I don't know. But it, that horizontal mode fixes it up, <laughs> so it flies perfectly, but we're going to fly it a bit. Let me get it in closer so you can see this. Sounds weird too, don't it? <laughs> it turns on a dime. But it's the strangest looking airplane, strangest flying airplane. It's a strange feel to it. Strange feel. And again, I am not even going to attempt to, get, to turn off um, stabilization on this. I'm, that'll be a crash for sure, for me at least. Okay, so that's the Ishin Mirage E5000. That battery's not going to last very long. It's a small battery, so I am going to probably call it quits here. Let's see if I can switch back to vertical mode close in. And land it. <laughs> there. <laughs> you switch to vertical and then just turn off the throttle when you get close to the ground, folks. Maybe we'll do one more vertical takeoff just to demonstrate that. Such, such a weird, weird, weird quadcopter or airplane. Yeah, it is a quadcopter, isn't it? The wind's coming from that way. Let's see if, I, if that helps. Vertical takeoff mode. Vertical takeoff now. And switch it to horizontal. Well, that's easy enough. <laughs> Such a weird, 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 weird airplane. It's got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it turns on a dime, though. <laughs> weird, weird thing. Okay, let's bring it in again. Vertical. Cut off throttle. <laughs> Let it come down, and as soon as you get close to the ground, cut off throttle. 
So that's it. I'm not going to fly it much further because that, that's a tiny battery, and I don't know if that how much uh, more power is left on that battery. I don't want to hurt it. But that's the Mirage E500. One of the weirdest things I've seen to date. <laughs> and it flies, but it flies well <laughs> in horizontal mode, kind of. <laughs> Uh, it converts to vertical real easily, and uh, it's going back and forth between the two is pretty easy. And uh, you can do vertical takeoffs and vertical landings. It's just when you get down close to the ground, shut off that throttle because I don't know how stable that landing is. You know, it looked kind of wobbly, and I have a bit of a wind too, folks. That's probably the issue. So, so I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Okay, I want to show you all um, how, why this thing flies so oddly. Right now, I got it set to uh, vertical uh, stabilization. I'm going to turn it on. You can turn it on sideways like this, but uh, I want to demonstrate how these operate, or these ailerons operate in the different modes. Okay, in vertical stabilized mode, pointed straight up, um, give a little throttle there, and I'm going to give a little bit of throttle. To and stopping it there, and then I'm going to go to horizontal stabilized to give it a little throttle. Now, in horizontal stabilized, notice when I turn the uh, ailerons, we get differential thrust on the two propellers. So that's how it's steering with differential thrust. The same works if you use the rudder. It's differential thrust through the rudder. There is no aileron control in stabilized mode in any of the stabilized mode, even the vertical or the horizontal stabilized mode. It's all differential thrust. The only aileron control that you get is if you switch to um, all the way down here and uh, in unstabilized mode and then you got aileron control and that differential thrust goes away. So keep that in mind folks. If you're flying in stabilized mode it's all all the turning is done through uh, differential thrust thus you're going to be getting flat turns when you're flying in stabilized mode. Uh, in unstabilized mode, you have full control. Let's do that again to show you. Full control over the ail or ailerons, but that's the only time you get full control of the ailerons is in uh, manual flying unstabilized. And again, that requires some skill to fly this particular airplane. So, okay, I just want to show you that. Signing out. <laughs>